Now remember, vectors is a sense of motion which has size and direction. So let's focus on the direction of a vector. And when we talk about the direction of a vector, we're really talking about the angle. I'm going to show you. We're really talking about this. Really talking about the angle that is formed between the vector itself and the x-axis. So we're talking about this space right in here. So all of this. So how is it that we're going to figure that out? Well, if you notice, if I should draw a line right down here, so which would represent the vertical shift. What angle is formed between the vertical shift and the horizontal shift? It would be a 90 degree angle. Good. Now, if it is that I could count this, it would be one, two, three. And if it is that I could count this, it would be one, two, three, four. So, based on your knowledge of trigonometry and the different ratios, what trigonometric ratios could you use to calculate the size of this angle? Let's try it. So, everybody don't know, this would be the hypotenuse. Good. And see that this is the angle we're interested in. This line would be the opposite. OPP. And this line would be the adjacent. Good. So we have the opposite, which is three units, the adjacent, which is four units, and the hypotenuse that we just don't know. I will need to calculate the size of this angle right here. So the ratio that we were going to use must have the opposite and the adjacent. So, we're definitely going to have to use the tan ratio. Tan theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Great. So, you remember what the opposite was? It was three units. So, it's going to be tan theta, that's the angle we're interested in, is equal to the opposite of three units divided by the adjacent of adjacent four units divided by four units great to get rid of tan we must use tan inverse so I'm going to tan inverse both sides tan inverse tan inverse what that does is tan inverse will cancel tan, leaving me with just the angle I'm interested in. And all I need to do now is to put into the calculator tan inverse of 3 divided by 4. So I'm going to press shift and the tan button. Boom. Open bracket 3 divided by 4. Close bracket. So you see? That's the angle we're interested in. See how much it measures? 36.9 degrees to one decimal, please. So that's 36.9 degrees. And remember, it's an angle, you know, so you must put it in degrees. So what this is saying is the direction of this vector is 36.9 degrees. That's all it says. So the angle that is formed between this vector and the x-axis is the direction of the vector.